fellow citizens of our North State, I address you today with heavy heart as we mourn the tragic loss of innocent lives in recent bomb attack in Kauri, town of Kondoga local government, and Gotha, town of Gotha local government area of our North State, among others. I wish to commiserate with the families of all those affected by this unfortunate incident and all the people of Borno State. I was at the State Special Aid Hospital to sympathize with those who are injured and receiving medical care. In this challenging time, we stand united in grief and solidarity as we condemn this senseless act of violence that has once again struck our beloved state. Considering the intelligence report at my disposal as the Chief Security Officer of the State, and in consultation with our heads of the Security Forum, we have imposed a 24-hour curfew. We started at noon on Thursday to curtail the further loss of lives and properties that could have resulted from the possible infiltration by the elements of Boko Haram struck Iswab insurgents. Amidst these challenges, some miscreants yesterday in the guise of participation in the nationwide protest, perpetuated criminal activities including the destruction of public properties. It was very unfortunate that hospitals were vandalized and equipment, including beds, office furniture, drugs, consumables, and solar power facilities were looted. In what could have been a major disaster, attempts were made by these hoodlums on several locations on Thursday to attack the Maiduguri emergency gas power plant. However, it was abated by our gallant security forces. To those who seek to exploit the current situation by engaging in criminal activities under the guise of protest, I urge you to reconsider your actions. Theft and vandalism only harm our community. Let us express our grievances through peaceful and lawful means respecting the rights and property of others. Violence has no place in our society, and I implore all citizens to reject any call to arms or acts of aggression. Let us embrace dialogue, understanding, and tolerance as we work together to build a brighter future for Borno State. Protecting the lives and properties is the main responsibility of any government. Therefore, as we leave the curfew on Saturday, 3rd August 2024, any person that engages in looting or violent activities will be dealt with accordingly. Over 95% of those participated in Thursday's so-called protests were children under 14 years. Most of them do not even know why they are protesting. A six-year-old child carrying a black cat is amazing. It must have been directed by someone. Most of those children are not from Borno State. While you are not discouraging the Almagiri education, Children must, however, have their teachers, parents, or guardians looking after them. A situation where thousands of children living in Maiduguri without care for anyone in the name of Almajiri must be looked into. I wish to equally express my sympathy to all the innocent people who were affected by Thursday's so-called protests, mad with violence, vandalism, and looting of properties. The government of Borno State will not relent in its efforts to ensure peace and prosperity in all parts of the state. As our security forces work tirelessly around the clock, we have observed the return of normalcy in the metropolis and its environs. Therefore, I wish to direct the lifting of the curfew imposed and citizens are advised to go about their lawful activities from 6 a.m. Saturday, August 3rd, 2024. I assure you that my administration is not against any peaceful protest. For any group committed to expressing their grievance peacefully, you are urged to forward your request to the relevant authority as the government will provide the venue and everything necessary. I also want to assure you that my administration is fully committed to addressing the challenges facing our state. We have implemented various measures to ease hardships and foster development in our communities, from improving infrastructure to investing in education and health care, Pouring on local scholarships, what millions have been awarded. Fellow citizens, we are dedicated to creating a better quality of life for all citizens of Borno State. We have distributed rounds of food and non-food palliatives within Medjugorje and other LGS, scale up our support to farmers through cells of fertilizers, and provided seeds and palm inputs to enhance food production, among many other interventions. 
We want to also invest in irrigated agriculture as well as in livestock development. Our ongoing developmental projects aim to stimulate economic growth, create job opportunities, and enhance the overall well-being of our people. And we are investing immensely in afforestation to mitigate environmental degradation. But North State will continue to partner with the federal government in order to bring succor to the people of the state. Fellow citizens, we are working tirelessly to ensure every citizen can access essential services and the support they need. As we navigate these trying times, let us remember the resilience and strength that defines us as the people of our North State. We can overcome adversity and build hope, prosperity and a future filled with peace and security. May God bless our North State and grant us peace and prosperity.